What's up guys? So we're headed over to Mapleside. We just had a Blastoise pop up on our nearby list. As you can see, it's got a little snowy out here. It is a winter. What's up trainers? Welcome to the third episode of Go Geek Go. I'm your host Brian. Thanks for being here. Today we have a really special episode for you. Me and Gibby son, we went out last week and we went as soon as this holiday Pikachu event started. We went and ran right up to Lakewood Park because we knew that it was a Pikachu nest and we knew it wasn't going to last long. Well, we made it in time and we caught a whole ton of holiday Pikachus and we just would love to take you guys along on the adventure. So you guys, stick around, come join us for that. But first, I have one more announcement for you guys. A holiday giveaway. So if you want to enter that holiday giveaway, go ahead and click that link right there. But make sure to come back and watch the rest of our video because it's going to be a good one. We'll see you there. Hey guys, what's up? I just got home. I was just taking my dog outside and lo and behold, what pops up on my nearby at the Mapleside Farm, but a Blastoise. I don't know if you guys could actually see that. There's a Blastoise on the radar there, and I'm about to go grab it, go do this. So I will see you guys over there. We will catch this Blastoise. So we're walking over here to Mapleside Farms, right there across the street. So we're headed, go over there. It's actually the same place we caught a Venusaur, not even, Last weekend, yeah. So a couple of days ago, Club Venusaur there. Two in the morning. Right now we're headed over there. Go catch a Blastoise. I didn't capture the video for the Venusaur, unfortunately, because it was two in the morning. I wasn't really thinking about it, but fresh, just got out of work, got home. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna catch this Blastoise, and uh, you guys will get to see that. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you over there at the Coke stop. What's up guys? So we're here. We're about to catch this Blastoise. Now we don't have much to actually catch this Blastoise with. So hopefully it's an easier catch. But chances are that's not going to happen. Alright, we've got the nice throw. Ultra Ball Raspberry. I don't know if that'll be enough for the first catch. No, no it won't. Get, let's get this done with the raspberries and ultra ball first things first try and get that great oh we just got it in there that's a good shot let's see if we got it oh and right on the first try it breaks out that's not a very good sight for us guys oh and another great throw hopefully that gets us somewhere this time one two no so close so close we have no more raspberries. This is our last Ultra Ball. We're going to switch to Great Balls just so we have that Ultra Ball. In the and it ran from us after four or five throws. What is that? What? How is that going to run after such a short amount of time with such little throws? What bad, terrible luck. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Really wanted to cap that Blastoise, guys. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. I didn't need it, but the fact that I just ran over here in the snow so we just stopped over here across the street at Mapleside to uh, capture this gym real quick or actually put some Pokemon in as it was already Team Valor yeah, and uh, a times. as we we're about to leave we found our first uh, holiday Pikachu there popped up so we're gonna go ahead and catch that it's only 32 CP so pretty easy really so uh, yeah it should just one Pokeball hopefully be enough there 
Not that I'm in a shortage right now, but we're actually right now on our way up to Lakewood Park to, to go get Pikachu Nest to get some uh, special Pikachus here. So it's kind of ironic that we would find one already before we even left town. Maybe it's a sign of good things to come. Good things to come. Well, we'll see you guys at the nest. We just got up here to the Pikachu nest and uh, we're over here by the gym actually. We already had one popped up right as we got in and pulled in. And uh, we're just told that another one has Not popped it. up. So let's go ahead and try and catch this one. One Ultra Ball. One Ultra Ball, yeah, I, mean, I should it's probably like be using. Deep red for the one. Yeah, this one's deep red for me. Yeah, so way after one trial. So 234. So uh, I'm going to res ball and ultra ball this. This one's uh, definitely a lot higher than our first uh, holiday Pikachu that we caught earlier at Maple Side at uh, 23 CP. Yeah, the next one's nice though. 454. 454. Not too bad. All right, there you go. I got that with an ultra ball and a raspberry. It is a little bit chilly out here. We got the wind going. <laughs> Fuck this. That was so, the last guy. Not great. Of course. I mean, we are at a nest, so we can't expect them to have the greatest heavies. All right, here's this other one. Uh, oh, and here goes the... Oh, my thing disconnected. I was like, why isn't that going off? That's weird. Right, let's try with the great bowl and a raspberry. So I don't waste all my ultra balls quite yet. Until we start walking around. Nice throw. There we go. Second Pikachu. Is he in the holiday spirit? And not quite, not quite. I used the Ooh. Alright, throw another spin. one. I just got a bunch of great balls and pokeballs on that spin. Alright, alright, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to switch over to the Ultra. I'm telling you, man. We're gonna be using some Ultras and Raspberries I here, I guess. Raspberry. No Raspberry? No, he's it was an he's still orange with the Ultra, it, though. It was Curveball, great shot with an Ultra Ball. No raspberry. Yeah, I missed the great, so. That's yeah, alright, we still got it. got it. The Raspberry supplemented for the great miss. Well, there we go, so I got Pikachu miss. caught. We have another <laughs> Pikachu miss. that just popped up where the magic carp is that I want to go find. Okay, so, cool, cool. Can we close this? And, uh, yeah, hold on one sec, let me just grab that. So we're gonna head on down to these other focus stops and we'll see you over there. Huh? Well, it'll disappear. It'll be there for like, what? I think it's a minute or a minute and a half. A little over a minute that it'll stay after it despawns on the thing. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I found a Pikachu right here. We got another Pikachu here. Let me set up the camera for this one. We're over here, we got made it over to the Pagoda Pokestops and stuff at uh, Lakewood Park. I'll show you guys that here in a minute, but right now we got a Pikachu here. Check this out, where's he at? There he is right there, look at him. 179. Let's try with just a regular Pokeball. It's probably not a good idea, but we're gonna go for it anyways. Oh, so close, so close. What's up? Oh yeah. Oh, I threw that a little preemptively. Da -da -da -da. Trying to get a cool AR shot. Oh, there we go, nice AR capture with the great ball there for you guys.
it shows up at the furthest Pokestop possible. All right, guys, so we got a couple more Pikachus to head off here. Uh, there's only one on this thing, but they tend to spawn a lot down this trail over here, if you can actually see that. Yeah, that's Probably where I found not. a few last time, so but that's my guess. There man. are no Pokestops over there, so we can't actually tell if they're there with the normal radar, unfortunately. If only we could access the sightings panel, but yeah, we all know that's not going to happen. Yeah, there is. There's a magic. Yeah, I've been trying to catch it. I've been waiting for it to pop up. Gosh, it just keeps splashing me. There we go. There we go. Should catch it with that one, right? Got it. I got it with a curveball. Oh, there we go. Got it that time around. Alright, let's check out. Alright, now to head down this path and see if we can't find some more holiday Pikachus. And uh, managed to get the lighting to work out so you guys could actually see me here. So, uh, yeah, this is like Pikachu number five or something like that. So, we got quite a few of these holiday Pikachus, which is pretty cool. There we go, that was a really good throw. Just want to reiterate with you guys when you're out here in weather like this, it's really cold. Make sure you bundle up, wear gloves, wear a hat, wear a scarf if you got one. It's definitely very, very frigid out here. Uh, no one wants to get sick playing a video game. Don't do that, it's a bad idea. Make sure you watch where you're going. These paths are really icy. We have to be very careful where we're walking. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're out playing Pokemon Go in this cold, nasty weather. Always, always be alert. We just walked to the furthest Pokestop here to catch this other holiday Pikachu. And of course, as we were doing that, one popped up at the stop we were at all the way at the other side of the park. So we will be heading back that way after that. Oh, I think that should have been an excellent throw. That was so close, but that's all right. Hopefully we'll get it. Yep, there we go. Just one great ball, that's all it took. Nice and easy. It's good, because the walk wasn't so easy. So we have two holiday Pikachus now on our thing. They're both over at the other end of the park, so we're gonna head back over there now and go capture these guys, and we'll see you guys there. Here's one of those three Pikachus. Uh, I'm just gonna lob a Pokeball at it, see how that goes. Not, not that well. But like, we got all these Pokeballs. We don't have much of the other ones though. So it's really, you know, I hate using them. But, we're here to catch these things, so I'm gonna have to, huh? There we go. We, we seem pretty successful with the Great Ball so far. I've only had to use Ultra Balls in certain situations. So we're over here at the Pagoda. We made it to the other side of the park and uh, we did make it to that Pikachu in time, luckily. There's a little bit of a travel, a little bit of a hike getting over here. Kind of took the long way around, hit some more Pokestops and stuff, but as you can see, we're up to 77 Pokeballs, 15 Great Balls, and 9 Ultra Balls, so it was definitely worth it. So let's go ahead. We're going to use an Ultra Ball on this Pikachu because 473 is a little high. And, oh, that was a tiny circle. There was no way I was hitting into that. I should have waited a little. But hey, we catch in one throw? Nope. Not happening there. All right, you know what? So I don't like to waste Ultra Balls. I almost always use a Raspberry with an Ultra Ball just, just to make it. There we go, great throw, Ultra Ball, Raspberry, Curveball. Pretty much got it in the bag with that one. With that, uh, we got Gibby Sun over there yelling for us. I think there's some more. 
Pikachu's over that way. So yeah, let's check this guy out. Let's see how he is. Praise him here in a decent, decent one. It's all right. We're at a nest. You usually don't get the best, but we are definitely collecting things. Oh, nice. Some polywags. Oh yeah. Love me a polywag, so. Get that poker stuff and catch this polywag real quick too. Nice. There we go. Ooh, just jumped right out there, eh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Get in that pokeball. Go to your home! Why don't you want to go to your home? Whew. It's probably why I just not want to stay in this pokeball. I don't understand why, because it's probably a lot warmer in there than it is in here, so huh, maybe you got that hit. <laughs> There you go, polywag caught. Be much warmer in there, buddy. Don't worry. Keep you, keep you safe. I promise I probably won't send you off to Professor Oak to uh, grind you in the candies. Yeah, this is a real nice nest too. It's not as big as Edgewater Park, but uh, has a really nice view of the lake. That's just like kind of a little bit nicer than Edgewater Park, I feel, as far as the lake view goes. But uh, you know. It's a little bit further away from Cleveland, maybe that's why you get a nice skyline and stuff like that. There you go, that book stops hit up, so continue on moving down here. Uh, obviously, it's a smaller nest, so that's nice in the way that there's not as much walking back and forth. But then again, the big circle that you go in can be a lot. You're going all the way back and forth from one side to the other, so you know, all in all, it's not that much smaller walking distance. The other one you pretty much could stay to the one side and catch a bunch, caught most of them on the one side. So, yeah, but, oh, uh, you know, we're still catching a really, really good number of Pikachus here. By the time we're done, we'll probably be upwards in the teens of the Pikachus. Won't be as high of a count as we got with the Bulbasaurus at the Edgewater Park Nest the other week, but, uh, it will be pretty damn close still. So we're here, we got this last Pikachu here. We're gonna be trying to catch it. See how that goes. If I can actually get it out there. And he blocked it. Yep, there we go. Let's see if we kept that. Fair ball, great shot, ultra ball with a berry. Nope, not that time. Broke out first and ran. Didn't get it over there for the great or the excellent. So yeah, I got see. a great ball, curve ball. Great All right, there we go. We got it. That'll just be our last Pikachu of the day as we're at 2% battery. What's the IVs on that? So, yeah, we'll go ahead and check these IVs. We're at 70 candies. That's a nice cap out. Not great. Okay, I'm not worried Nothing about it. Nothing special. It was just really high level. But that's all right, guys. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've exhausted the Pikachus on the list right now. We've caught quite a few of them today. My phone's going to die. My camera's going to die. So, uh, yeah, that's all for me tonight. Uh, see you guys at home. We just got home from our holiday Pikachu adventure. We just went up to Lakewood Park and uh, captured about 12, 13 of these new holiday Pikachus. We managed to get a good one at about 80%, so that's really, really cool. Um, you know, it was great, really. Nice to see that all the Pikachus in the nest were sitting there sporting those Santa hats. I um, was like super, super excited about this as an event, to be honest, for Christmas. I feel like there should definitely be more coming. Hopefully we have an actual like event like that they've given us before. And this is just going to be like a little bonus thing that we're getting for the holidays. Um, so hopefully we get some double candies, double experience, something like that. Really, I'm hoping for the double candies. I got a lot of Pokemon saved up and ready for this. Um, but the double experience and double Stardust would also be nice too. I do only have one 10k egg. And really, with the new release of the Gen 2 Babies, I pretty much plan on getting as many 5k eggs as I can. And hopefully hatching a whole bunch of Togepies. Because I would like to evolve it into the Togetech and get that as... The first and only Gen 2 non-baby Pokemon that's available right now. Look forward to a lot more events. Hopefully there's going to be at least one more event announced here in the next week or so for the holidays. So, yeah, I'm going to go and maybe edit some of this. Maybe just go to bed because it's late. It's like 11.20, 11.30 here. So, yeah. 
It's been a long day. Been pretty busy. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. We were just about to uh, actually wrap things up and go to bed, but uh, I just got word that there is a Lapras not even a two buildings in my apartment complex down. So we are gonna run over there and try and catch this Lapras. First wild Lapras I've ever seen. Can't see anything on that. There it is, guys. There it is. It just popped up. We did find the Lapras. Hell yeah, cool, midnight fine. Lapras, let's do this. I don't know if I can get this with the curve. There we go, curveball, nice. Man, it was a hard throw, but we got it out there. Two, and three, we caught it on the first one. Yes, yeah. First ever Lapras seen the wild. First ever Lapras caught. Two day streak. Hell yeah. That was awesome, guys. Now, we're gonna have a look at that Ice Shard and Blizzard. I'm pretty sure that's a good moveset. I'm not positive, though. Strong Pokemon. Oh, this was an awesome catch, guys. Midnight Lapras catch. Totally worth the effort, totally worth the cold.